You know, I originally wrote this as a beginner video, but the number of times that I have been swept by a FUD with a Glock at the range means this is not just for beginners. This is for everyone. And I want you to commit right now to not being the kind of asshole that thinks safety is a beginner lesson. Is this the first thing that you should learn before you start handling guns? Yes. Does that mean that you should stop learning it after you've started handling guns? No. You can always be learning new techniques, new tricks, new methods. Frankly, it's a thing you should get used to if you're going to have guns in your life, learning how to keep them safe. It's the easiest way to not die, which I've been told is a good thing. For starters, let's go over what's known as the four basic rules. One, always point your muzzle in a safe direction. Or said another way, don't point your gun at anything you don't intend to kill. I'm going to use a Glock frame as a reference here. This is an incomplete firearm. The best way to do this as soon as you are handed or pick up a weapon is to immediately point that down. Or in the words of most likely, Aim down. Two, consider every gun that you come across loaded. I might shitpost and mad make bad jokes on occasion, but I'm not a douchebag. And you too cannot be a douchebag by not pointing guns at people, regardless of whether or not you just cleared them. Three, always keep your finger off the trigger. Your finger stays off the trigger until you're ready to kill the thing that you're pointed at. We'll go over a really useful trick with this later. Four, be aware of your target and what's beyond it. You have to remember that the bullet is frequently not going to stop at the target, both at the range and in a combat situation. In fact, in most cases, the bullet will continue going through what you're shooting at. We have guns that absolutely stop when you hit the target, But unless you're discussing useless ammunition or literal nerf guns, you absolutely have a high likelihood of passing through whatever you are shooting at. What we are trying to do is push a bullet into a target, so we shouldn't be that surprised when a bullet will push through a target. So let's go over it. Always be muzzle safe. Consider every gun loaded. Always keep your finger off the trigger. Be aware of your target and what's beyond it. I see what I did there. An important thing I learned early on is to make sure you don't separate your safety from your tactics. Fold them into your daily practices and more importantly into your drills and you'll be far less likely to forget them in an emergency situation. Remember, nobody rises to the occasion. You merely fall back on your train. For example, there's an entire school of thought that's developed a series of techniques called point shooting. I'm gonna grab that Glock frame again. Basically, when you get used to keeping your finger on the side of the gun instead of keeping it on the trigger, you also naturally make your hand into a pointer shape. And you can use that to your advantage to more quickly acquire pointed targets. Once you get used to the natural position of a finger point being translated to your gun point. There are a number of instructors who have folded some variant of this technique into their teachings, as well as some morons. Remember to take in as much advice as you can, but to make sure to weigh it against the expertise being given and against the context. There's plenty of idiots out there. I should know, I am one. I'm not really an idiot, but I frequently play one on TV. This is a channel on DIY and gun building. I'm going to do a separate video on how to properly test a firearm safely. I feel like that in and of itself could be its own video, if not several. This is a video on handling, which frankly, lots of people, including gun builders, can use a refresher on. Anytime you pick up or handle a weapon, you should do what's referred to as a state check. That means that you are going to look at it and try and determine, well, what's up. So, here's a pistol. We want to be able to pick it up and make it safe. How do we do that? Okay, without shit posting, there are several states that a weapon can be in. And the first thing you have to do when handling a weapon is determine what state this is in. This is my everyday carry. This is currently what's known as locked and loaded. Essentially, that means there is a round in the chamber and the safety is locked on. Why? Because not only is there a round in the chamber, but the firing pin has been pulled back and is ready to strike. 
And as a way of preventing that from being a possibility, if it gets dropped or mishandled, there is a switch that physically blocks that pin. This is a similar design to most 1911s. This is a similar design to the M17 that's currently being used by the US military. This is a fairly standard thing. So how do we determine the state of it? First, you draw, making sure to keep that finger off the trigger. You determine the state of it with the safety. In this case, it is currently marked safe. So I'm going to flick the safety off and then rack back in what's known as a press check. And essentially, this is pushing the slide back just enough that you can determine if there is currently a round in the chamber. As soon as I have that back, I'm going to, like I just did there, flick the safety back on so that I have this back in locked and loaded. Now, the most important state that a weapon can be in is hot. That is when it is capable of killing somebody and you want to have your weapons be hot as little as possible. The idea behind a hot weapon is that is in the deadliest of its forms. The deadliest that gun will ever be is when it is hot. And that is a situation, if you're at a range, you should make the people around you aware of. Uh, if you are with friends or in a defensive situation, there are times where screaming going hot is an important way of informing the people around you that your weapon is going off safe. Cleared is a relatively easy state. It means the magazine is empty and there's nothing in the chamber. Importantly, you have to do it in that order. Take the magazine out first and then clear the chamber because if there is a loaded magazine and you go to clear the chamber, you might, as the slide goes back, load the next round into the chamber. And now the weapon is no longer cleared and you think it is safe. That is possibly one of the more dangerous conditions you can have a weapon to be in. So remember, easy way to avoid that, take the magazine out first, every time. Magazine, clear the chamber. The last state that we have to go over is misfired. And <laughs> even just saying that, the hairs on the back of my neck have already started to go up. Misfired is the state where you have flicked the safety off, you have pulled the trigger, and nothing has happened. Guns are control bombs. If you pulled the trigger and it didn't go off, that's now an uncontrolled bomb. Fun? Don't shake it. Absolutely do not look for obstructions down the muzzle. You're gonna have to start problem solving. Start by holding for about a second to five. If the gunpowder wasn't perfect or was slightly damp, you may have a delayed discharge. That's less likely in modern times, but it's still a thing that occasionally happens, particularly with shotgun ammo where the plastic doesn't necessarily seal it as well as you would think. Often what happens is you've got what's called a light strike and the primer didn't go off. In cases like this, you might be able to try firing it again if you've got the ability to recock it or with something with the G2C where you'll have a restriking system. The other two possibilities are significantly worse in varying degrees. One is there's something else broken in the gun. You're gonna need to extract that. You'll probably be able to by pulling the slide back to extract the bullet and then figuring out what the problem is from there. The worst possibility is if you pierce the primer. That is a rare but not unheard of condition where you now need to very, very carefully disassemble that gun as there is going to be gunpowder slowly going everywhere and I'm sorry, but this is the start of your bad day. <laughs> Otherwise, until the bang goes off, keep the gun pointed in a direction you would otherwise keep it normally pointed. I think that's a good place to stop. This is a decent general guide to being safe with firearms. I don't think this is the comprehensive end-all video on how to be safe with everything, but frankly, I don't think that could exist. Safety is a thing that you can't know too much of. You should always be learning new techniques with this. You should always try be trying to advance your knowledge just a little bit. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Hit that like button if you want to see more content like this. If you didn't like it, aim the mouse over the like button and then shoot it with your pistol a whole bunch and I'll get the message from the force about how much you didn't like it. Hit subscribe if you want to see more content like this. If you want to support me as a creator, you can follow me on Patreon. I'll also be uploading all of these videos about a day early over there, as well as some of the videos that I'm not going to be able to upload to YouTube, such as the specific, like, very up close how-to stuff, which I'm also going to try and find other ways to gradually get that onto the internet, but YouTube doesn't allow specifically for gun construction videos. They allow for talking about your design process. They allow 
for talking about the theoretical of things. They allow for uh, talking about the things you have just made or the things you're about to make. But while you're making them, you have to put that vid those videos somewhere else. So some of that content, we're going to have the why of how we do it. We're going to have videos about how it works on here, but some of the more intricate how-tos are going to be on Patreon. If you want to check that out, I'll put a link below. So thank you for watching, and remember, moral doesn't mean legal, and Stonewall was a riot. Peace.